Hello there, this one is specifically for the children. I had seen this video obey Jehovah and it brought back memories of my child abuse. Till this day from my parents doing this to me. I suffer from anxiety attacks, panic attacks and difficulty in socializing with real people. I decided to make this video, as I don't want any child to grow up the way I did. My parents called their God God, and whatever I did was wrong. I had been born originally both a boy and girl, but they believed that God wants only a boy or a girl, and not both because it is considered a sin, so they took me to the doctor, and told the doctor to operate on me and make me a boy, now gown up I live as a girl, but wished they left me alone and accepted me as both, and let me have the choice on what I felt. I have had toys and things, that were given to me as a child, as presents from friends because they believed it was wrong with their god they took them, threw them away or even burned them. I even met my other mother from space and she taught me how to draw and do art, and when she came and visited she left her footprints in the flower bed when she walked through the window glass to visit me. My mother believed she was an angel and believes the earth is the center of the galaxy or even the universe and is a special planet where God put life on it where he never made life in the whole universe, and life only exists on planet Earth. The truth is she is wrong. My other mother, my star mother works with many different people from different from different planets, that come in all shapes, sizes and colors, which I think is cute. When I drew people of my star mother as they don't wear any clothes, as they don't feel the need to wear them, mother began to believe my star mother was a demon and from the devil in the center of the earth. This makes no sense, because she comes another solar system and you don't get planets and stars in the center of the earth, because the earth is a planet itself. So as punishment, she took my drawings and the plaster of Paris foot casts and hid them away. So I am going to discuss through the video. Hi. How is school today? Fine. Look at Sparlock's magic cane. Caleb, what toy is that? It's Sparlock, the warrior wizard. Whoa, a warrior wizard. Yeah, my friend gave it to me. All the kids are going to see the movie. Can I see it too? Oh, your friend gave this to you. So a friend gives the little boy a toy wizard called Sparlock as a gift. The mother seems disappointed that her child has friends and the toy is wrong to his mother's beliefs. The mother is stupid, because a toy is a toy. Hmm. You look pretty excited about this. Why don't you come over here and get your snack, okay? So out comes the conformity hammer. The end of fun and imagination and down to get religious mind programming while having lunch. Is this toy magical? Mm -hmm. So the it's about the toy being magical. This is only imagination making this toy come to life and being magical. The only closest thing to what feels like magic is gadgets like the TV, the computer. These technological devices can be explained by science. Science which is not understood appears like magic. Well to me Sparlock is like the Iron Man, if Sparlock knew how his magic worked. But it's all a mystery and it works. Caleb, who likes magic? Jehovah or Satan? Satan. Right. Magic is bad. Technology and gadgets on other planets are so advanced that in this planet it, many people would think it's magic if they see it, where you can fly. Walk through walls and walk in places that look like the shower, and travel the world in it through a beam of light by pressing buttons that float in the air. To be simple, magic does not exist, only science, but technology one day would make things feel like magic. That's why Jehovah hates it. Do you really want to play with something that Jehovah hates, that Jehovah hates, that Jehovah hates, that Jehovah hates? So when does Jehovah start hating and being a whiny imaginary brat in the sky? I thought people who believed in God of some sort, he's supposed to love not hate? 
Yes, this shows you the conditions and brainwashing that happens in religious beliefs. An imaginary boss to make people not to think but to think only, what does not make the sky fairy Jehovah hate. That Jehovah hates? That Jehovah hates? Do you remember who we learned about at family worship? Who is this? Adam and Eve. Right. Did they obey Jehovah? No, they disobeyed Jehovah. And he got very sad. So what if you disobey Jehovah and play with toys he doesn't like? Do you think Jehovah will be happy or sad? Sad. Yeah. Do you want Jehovah to be sad? No! I don't want Jehovah to be sad with me. No, I don't want Jehovah to be sad with you either. So what do you think you should do with this toy? Caleb, I am so proud of you. You made Mommy very happy. And you Mommy has just taught her child how to throw things that disagree with belief or even question belief and the child had been taught censorship, which is causing many problems on this planet today and could even cause the world to end. So please learn to think, and don't ever accept to be told what to think and what not to think. Mommy should be teaching you about the facts and happenings of real life, not sky bullies and what they want. You know who else is happy? Jehovah! Yes! Jehovah loves you very much for obeying him, Caleb. Jehovah hates, that Jehovah hates, that Jehovah hates, that Jehovah hates. Anyway, much love and huggles learn to love and not hate. And remember, love is good. And when people hate, they are sometimes bad people who can hurt you. Namaste.